Pichu, which has just lost possession to Griffin here in the centre center part of the field. Here's Dixon. Dixon now could try one, but goes out wide to Forbes. Forbes low into the box, and that's an early goal for the away side. The ball was played in from Forbes. It's a wonderful assist for him. And it's Albert Digua who gets the goal from inside the six-yard box. Dixon in field here to Jelani Peters, the Trinidad and Tobago international. Good ball here. Across the field here is Dixon again inside the box. Shoots, scores. And that is two. And we've only played 13 minutes. It's Hugh Alexander Dixon onto his left foot. And he does a somersault to celebrate. And why not? Good finish from him. Goals from uh, Dequa and Dixon. Here's Bradley Bushmore into the box. JJ Williams is up and there's oh, there is an own goal. FC Tulsa are back in it in a very, very unlikely way. And it's Daniel Rivera who just tried to clear it. It's gone back to the goalkeeper, Kevin Silver, who might have done better with that one. So I think FC Tulsa will need to get creative with their runs off of the ball to create space. Because when you watch Pittsburgh play, it looks like they always have options. And that's a testament to their movement off the ball. And here's Dane Kelly in the box. One on one with the keeper and he slotted it home for three. You cannot give time and space to a goal scorer like Dane Kelly. He scores the third for his team. It's now FC Tulsa 1, Pittsburgh, Riverhounds SC 3. Forward they come again with Forbes. Forbes again. Neat, intricate play. Dixon. De Santos there. And it just needs a touch, and it is a touch, and it's in, and it's four. And it's Dequa's second of the game. The ball went all the way through the six yard box. Dequa's second. Pittsburgh, Riverhounds. SC's fourth, it is FC Tulsa one, the Hounds four. And where do FC Tulsa go from here out of there? Just trying to get something out of this game, aren't they? Yeah, Rodrigo da Costa here on this left side trying to maybe be that spark, a good run in from Brown. And there's a chance and a goal. They have got something from this. FC Tulsa get their second of the afternoon with 10 minutes to go. It's game on. And it's Machuca who gets the goal. It's FC Tulsa 2, Pittsburgh, Riverhounds SC 4. We'll get another look here at the replay. FC Tulsa it started with good play from DaCosta on that left side. Brian Brown showing some strength, bringing that ball back. And then FC Tulsa able to capitalize there. The ball rolls to the top of the six yard box, takes a small deflection, and FC Tulsa buries that away, finds that second goal of the afternoon. Here's Rodriguez, still again, not a lot of room to play. And here's Eric Bird, back here to Rodriguez again. His ball over the top, looking for Da Costa, he's in here, Da Costa, it's a third for FC Tulsa. We have got a grandstand finish. What a ball over the top. And De Costa has been quiet all afternoon. Gets his goal. FC Tulsa's third. It's FC Tulsa three. Pittsburgh Riverhounds SC four. Amo. Zandi. Zandi clips it in. Appeals for a handball as Traore took it down with the chest. There's another cross. And there's an opening goal. Elvis Amo, one of his first touches today, his second goal of the year. It was coming for Colorado Springs and switchbacks FC, perfect to start the year. Pushing forward, but that's Galena tracking back. Great team defending from Colorado Springs. If not, Jennings might have had a way through there. Yeah, but again, you, you, as you can see, then he's never in a one-on-one -on -one situation, so it's one against four. Here's Jennings crossing. It's an own goal, and Vegas had tied it up. His cross intended for Torres. It goes in off Matthew Mahoney. Good cross for Barry, who missed the target. It's been a tough second half for Barry. He had the chance for the assist to Amo. Overpassed it, then he had a good look himself. That was his second good chance. Here comes Las Vegas. Cal Jennings, four on three. Jennings pulls it back. What a cut from Jennings. He scored! What a fantastic goal. Spectacular from Cal Jennings. Right in front of the head coach, Brendan Burke. 
Long throw in from King. Barry centers it. Nice touch. It's on. Into the roof of the net. Zach Zandi. That was spectacular. And it's two to two. First professional goal for Zach Zandi. Good work again from Zandi. Galina, central. Low strike, another goal! Colorado Springs Switchbacks FC have the lead away from home. It's Cam Lindley. If Maxi's feeling it, he might try to surprise Garces. Pato, Matt Lewis, both charging, sent up and over far post, headed down, Amu Mensa and in! Headed down by Amu Mensa, Stephen Carroll, back of the net, 1-0 to the visitors halfway tr through the 23rd. Win on the ground with the left. Maxi is there, looking far post, up into the air, well defended by McFadden. Mejia trying to get a foul call from Reese Williams, didn't happen. Another header and another goal for Detroit City. Reese Williams, four different players touching it quickly. Down the right-hand side over Ambrose. Flick to Opano in space for Pato. Pato looking to charge into Garces. Thought about it twice and in. Pato with the goal on the board early in the 42nd minute. His second on the season, and it is three on the board for the visitors in the first half. Tries to chip it past Brouletti. Looking for a Tua Hene. Cuts it back to his left, down the left-hand side. Win, top of the sixth, through it, lines up and in. Goal number four goes to Michael Bryant. He'd been in for five minutes. Bryant gets the fourth on the board for Detroit City. Here comes Perez, angling toward the middle with Guillen chasing. He'll oh. take a left-footed shot. Copper knocked it down. Right there to follow it up is De Silva and Miami has broken in front. And now Ingram with it. Ingram elects to slide it over to the right. And they'll work it back. Jerome with it. Waiting for defenders to close and then sends it down. Pinho there in close. Shoots and scores. Pinho scores a brilliant strike here in the 69th minute. And it's Indy 11 taking the lead, one to nil. He's uh, going to be playing in his fifth game. Has only one start. He subbed into the first two games in the last 10 minutes. And here's a chance here into the area. Nice move there and a goal. Another goal by Indy 11 and that's Beanhole once again, who has his second goal of the night, his third of the year and puts Indy 11 up by two. Has some room, finds Ikaza, keeps it on the ground, little one touch here. Now it's Edetta with a nice pass there, and it's centered and a goal! A centering pass to Lopez, and Lopez scores for the Toros, and the Toros are right back, get it! Forced into action, puts it over the byline, and another corner kick coming for Lokomotiv FC. Far post this time and head it down. It's a goal. Fox in the box. Is it not? There it is. It's official now. Looking for his second of the season. It's in. 2 0 Locomotive FC. Aaron Gomez in the 35th on the penalty. You play, it's a game of predictability and probability. And you don't always get it right, but. How about this pass out of the back? Aaron chips this man and it's three. Dallas J flailing wildly. Aaron Gomez with his second of the night. Taking Chapa's place. Chapa put in a shift in that first half, did he not? Yeah, he, he was. Diego, what a move. Diego, the teenager, looking for four. It's in.
Take a bow, young man. 4-0 locomotive. If you're like a encyclopedia of soccer, if anybody still knows what that is, <laughs> except us. Right, it's like there's Luna. Nice serve. Bounces nicely for Maris. Coming loose, the shot is in! Doesn't matter. It does matter. It's 5-0. Right now, Richard Chaplow is just thinking, as you said, I must bring him on, just when do I do it? I, I also don't want to damage the confidence of Kubo in the process. A slip from Skendi. Tainter sends it toward the back post, to the far post, and in off that post. San Antonio silences the crowd at the hour mark. It's Elliot Collier capitalizing on the mistake from Skendi. Got the start here. And is right back in the lineup tonight. Head ahead, looking for Vassell. Avon into the 18. Bushamani is crashing, and there's the first one of the night. We've been talking about the team goal. This first touch by Kyle Vassell. Lovely touch. He gets it to a mom who gets through traffic. A little ball that squirts out. Vassell's ready to hit it, but Toomey comes in with his left foot, puts it near post. Love this effort right there. As a goalkeeper, you never want to get beat at your near post. You want to force him across, cut the angle, but Moshabani slots that in but the touch by Vassell. Martin sending it in! Oh, the crash is off the post! And then bat it home! Tomas Ramon! 2-0 San Diego! We keep saying it, another great build-up. This bending ball by Colin Martin, it's bending away from Kuzminski, who gets frozen on his line. You see here the build-up. Moon runs out of options. Little touchback, that bending ball, and Among's able to get on it. Kind of comes off of Kuzminski. Not the cleanest, but it's a goal and a great team effort. Both Conway and Amon crashing. Charleston nowhere to be. Going in, headed, home. Right to the post and headed in. Moro Chichiro has brought one back for Charleston. Guido sends it in low. Vassell fires home! Sneaks it right in! 3-1 San Diego! We mentioned it earlier, the technical aspect of Kyle Vassell. That ball is driven in low and hard by Guido. Vassell making that near post run. He's able to just clean it up and clinical left foot. Top of the 18, crosses over for Vassell. Vassell, level left foot, back post, he's got it! How about that from Kyle Vassell? Plenty, plenty of practice for all these dance moves we're seeing, but Kaya Vassell, very similar to Jack Blake. When he has time to set a ball up, he hits it with incredible power. If you're going to give a player like Vassell that much time and space just on top of your 18, he will punish you, as he just did there. And it's actually Blake here who finds him. Vassell does a little dancing. You see blood pushes up. Has a lot of width and height. 
but they're able to have Greg Hurst come inside in that pocket. Sejas! Oh, it's off the goalkeeper's hands and it's in! He loves that left foot from distance! And Luis Manuel Sejas opens the scoring for Phoenix! When one pushes out wide, one's in the middle. When one's tucked in, one's out wide. It causes a lot of confusion for those dos. Quinn on the service. Sanchez just getting a hand to it. Now it's Sejas! It's two goals for Luis Manuel Sejas. That left foot has an absolute rocket on it. It's 2-0. Neil lofts it over the top. Preston Judd wins the battle. Judd trying to weave through. Able to get it to Salazar. Touches it in field. There's one back for Los Dos. Remy Cabral scores. They cut the deficit in half. It's 2-1. Phoenix is trying to get to the finish line. It's been a long week. Three games, 120 minutes in the midweek. And they put this one away for good. It's Joey Calistri. Options up ahead. Calistri, it's safe. Spilled in front and up scores. Celebrate for Marcus Epps. It's three goals for Phoenix Rising, and surely now three points. But the one thing, as you mentioned, that has made him unhappy, their inability to finish the good side and the bad side of that stat you give. The good side is, while well, at least they're creating the chances and eventually they'll fall. The bad side is they're missing some. Maybe they have one here early on. Played across. Harris, yet again on the score sheet for Louisville in the fourth minute. And what a start. Like Amadou Dia is long for this one. Louisville getting a change ready. That one chipped in. Everybody looking around for a flag that never came. And Louisville will take it. A 2-0 lead. And really catching Loud United sleeping because they're looking for offsides, but clearly just Seven MLS goals for Juan Agadello looking for his first in a Birmingham Legion shirt. It's the new signing, Juan Agadello. And he makes it 1 0 Birmingham. Calm and as cool as you like. Walks up, takes a little stutter step, sends the keeper the wrong direction, and just, just passes into the other side of the net. Really, really good penalty there. Lewis looking over the top for Joel Johnson. Johnson got there in front of Dean, but Dean able to hold him off for the moment. Still it falls for Lewis, trying to find a shooting lane. Instead, to the back post, and Van Okel's beaten. It's 1-1, Ashkenov Apollon makes up for the PK. He surrendered earlier. He's tied the contest at one apiece. Uh, Legion FC have had this been on target. And, you know, he, he rises to the occasion, so. But another corner from Legion FC, and Job got on the la into the last one, so uh, job may not be done here. Martinez an in-swinger this time, and it's headed in! Anderson Asiadu with the game winner in stoppage time! 2-1 Birmingham Legion!